all right all right hello everyone and welcome to the podcast congratulations you have clicked on this video and something is telling you to watch it um welcome to the out of Fluff podcast with of course me your host as uh fluff or you can call me graham if you don't want to call me fluff uh i actually i know i stated back in the last video for those that are like watching concurrently i know i stated back in the last video that it's going to be just a couple of weeks and then next thing you know the the next podcast will come out mm. for those that know me i lied not surprised well let me take it back i didn't didn't fully lie but i will say i uh i recorded another podcast right earlier about like a couple weeks ago and fucking what ended up happening was is that i was recording it did everything said everything then went into editing and um my god dude the audio was ass this camera is ass oh just no i i need a new camera i'm gonna get a new camera you see this little autofocus that it's doing, bro. I am barely moving and it's just tripping the fuck out for autofocus. So I gotta get I gotta get a new camera. So the setup is gonna be like this until I get a new camera. Um so yeah, to go ahead and take a quick glance around. I'm not organizing that shit right now, bro. Maybe next video it'll be organized. I'm not doing that shit right now, okay? If you're looking at it and be like, why this man got a whole bunch of clutter and you're just looking at my shelf the whole time. Just know it's whatever here. You want a tour of my shelf? Actually, we're going to go ahead and start off with the top. All right. Y'all can't see the tippy top. That's where all the more cooler shit is with all the anime and stuff like that. I got like a one piece uh, TCG card binder. Yeah, I was going to start collecting the one piece cards. I haven't gotten back to it. Just know. It was gonna happen. Um, of course, I got Clifford the Red Dog. All right, that's the red homie. Then I got Stitch back there beside of him. That's the blue homie. And then I got the L.A. fucking uh, baseball cap from going there. Just know, um, if you go to a Dodgers game, that helmet is for nachos, nigga. So. So and for for those that be like you've never been to like a Dodgers game, uh yeah, dude I only been to one in my whole entire life and I'm 27 years old now, bro. So only been to one. Granted, I wasn't raised in LA, but then again, I even back in uh Charlotte, North Carolina, I only been to one ba like baseball game and that was off of the sheer fact that it was like a school thing nothing else like that's it now for going to that dodgers game though i will say i'm disappointed in those fucking hot dogs or the hot dog that i had um go to that little fucking off to the truck if you want to but you're not getting a good hot dog All right that shit was wrapped in aluminum foil and fucking i don't know what the fuck but yeah buddy really go there for the drinks though that's what you really want to go there for uh back to the tour i have a book on how to master the art of selling uh i, I need to actually get back on reading that but i do that later whenever i am looking into more of like marketing and stuff like that i'll probably do that later uh bunch of random stuff got tape i don't know what uh some dog stuff with like dog bags because you know i'm not a fucking delinquent I pick up my dog shit, so I, I throw it away. Not a fucking heathen. Uh, got a vacuum right there. Just know, the whole fucking apartment is hardwood floor. Don't ask me why I got that vacuum, or why I still got that vacuum. The whole apartment is hardwood floor, bro. We don't use that shit. <laughs> um, my dog's leashes. 
I use a harness. If you use a collar on your dog, I hope that you know how to walk your dog instead of pulling it by the fucking neck. Uh, all that bottom shit is papers and a fucking, um, I got a bow and arrow. Hey, look, it came to me. Look at that. It just fucking slid right there. Yeah, boy. Since, uh, I live in Cali, I haven't gotten my gun license yet, but your boy can definitely end up buying a bow and arrow with no license. Fuck me if you want to. Bitch. Fuck with that. Damn. I don't even know what that was. Mm. Right, let me put this back. Then that's my dog's bed. They lay on it as I be here. But yeah, man. I think that's a little, that's a quick little tour. Um, For those that's probably going to ask why, because they're hella fucking look. Yes, nigga, that is tape on my window. I'm a little ghetto. Fuck y'all. Now back to the main show. But yeah, no. This is the main setup right now until I get a new camera. And I kind of forgot that I could just use this arm right here to keep my fucking mic stable so I can move around and do bullshit. I've been using this. Keep it stable. Honestly, it's hella good. This mic is hella good. I need to get another one. But yeah. Pretty dope, pretty dope, pretty dope. But um, I made this video. Yeah, as I said, I made this video earlier and I wrote down like stuff on this whiteboard right here. I'm probably not going to fully go through this, this bitch, honestly. I mean, let's, let's be honest. I think you already know how this is going to go. I'm going to start saying something and it's going to go off to a different place, but let's go ahead and get started though. First thing I do want to talk about is this esports world cup. I'm not going to pull up the thing for it because I kind of spent a lot of time trying to explain it and I didn't like that for the last time I recorded this podcast. So just know that um, there's an eSports World Cup, right? And it's a new thing that's coming. So if you haven't heard of it, it's pretty new. Don't feel like you're out of the loop. It hasn't even started yet. It doesn't start until next month or actually next week. I think it starts June 8th. 8th? Yeah, next, I think next Saturday or something like that is when it's going to start. But, dude, I like the concept and I like the fact, I, I like the concept on the sh only the sheer fact that there is an actual World Cup for games. That's, that's really mainly it for that. And then also on top of that is, uh, the teams. I do like the the fact that there is teams. So this can be from around the around the world, but they do need a team. It's not a country type of thing. So you would actually need to have a fucking team. So this is based on just teams that do esports around the world. So I do think that that's also cool too. Um not everybody in the in the world has access to like you know games and stuff like that so it makes sense compared to like soccer i mean almost everybody in the world has access to like you know a ball somewhere so they can play some soccer you know but when it comes down to video games i mean technology hasn't really went that far that crazy yet or some countries don't have technology everywhere basically so I do like the fact that this team is basically team based and not country based and that there's an actual more competitive style for games, which is pretty fucking cool. Now we get into more of the negatives. We always love the negatives, I guess. Huh? Shit, man, this is bullshit. Um, first negative dog. Why in the fuck is there so many MOBAs? All right, let's get this right. 
there's League, there's Mobile Legends, and there's Dota 2, and I think there's another MOBA in there somewhere. I think it's Honor of Kings or something like that. Never heard of Honor of Kings? It must it has to be a a, a mobile MOBA, like Mobile Legends, for it to be in the World Cup, and I've never heard of that game. It's crazy. There's there's like a couple other games too that I haven't heard of, and I'm like, what the fuck? But yeah, dude, I think there's too many MOBAs for a week. Just know that this lasts now this lasts for eight weeks. And there's just way too many different MOBAs. And why if it's for a week, why the fuck are we playing three different MOBAs, bro? Then there's battle royales. It's like, oh, it's a little bit different, but it's like, you know, you get PUBG, Apex, um, some other battle royale. I forgot the name of it. It's called Free something, Free Fall, I think, or some shit like that. Um, but yeah, you have you have like so many battle royales that's happening in like different weeks. Sorry, but was it like a tournament that's supposed to be happening every fucking week or something like that? Like. I don't know. I think the way that they have the schedule is pretty fucking stupid. And the fact that there's only two fighting games, two Street Fighter six and uh, Tekken eight. Where is Mortal Kombat? Um, what the fuck? And since this is team based, they could have added in other fucking fighting games as well, such as Blaze Blue. Blaze Blue has been around for um element. Elemental P fucking years or uh Ultimate Fighter. I don't know why that's not on there. I think that's what it's called. Not not UFC, but it's like that it's like that other fighting game that's mainly on the phone. Or I mainly played it on the phone. I forgot, but they have like a whole bunch of characters and shit. They could have added that. All I'm saying is that this esports shit could have definitely been handled completely fucking different in my opinion. I feel like every week should 100% been like a different genre of a game. Like one week is MOBAs. Get all that MOBA shit out the fucking way. Next week is Battle Royales. Get all that Battle Royale shit out the fucking way. Next week could have been fighting games. Get all the fighters out of the way. Next week could have been FPS. I don't know why Call of Duty. I, I don't even think Call of Duty was in there. I don't know why Call of Duty is not in there. I think almost everybody in the world plays Call of Duty except for like, I don't, I don't think I really seen that much Asian people play Call of Duty, to be honest with you. But yeah, they could have done like FPSs. Now I will say it will be a difference in FPSs between Call of Duty and games like Call of Duty and then CSGO and Valorant. I think CSGO and Valorant should have their own week. That's, it's an FPS, but I mean, it's, it's, it's a little bit too different, but I do think that Val and CSGO was well, CSGO too. Cause that's what they have on there should be in a whole fucking different, uh, which call it different week than, uh, than the rest of the FPSs. But I do feel that FPS is such as like COD or, um, I think next uh, next year, or I don't know how often that they're going to be doing this esports bullshit, this esports World Cup, but they should add in X Defiant in there as well. Hopefully, by the time that happens for the next one, X Defiant is actually somewhat fucking playable. <laughs> um, what else? Uh, do they could get hella creative with it as well too, and bring in games that people just don't really play that much, and then. It's to offer more different styles of games out there to people as well. Because, I mean, it's a, I don't, it's a World Cup or you think of like Olympics or some shit like that. I don't fucking know. I just personally think that more games should be added in and it shouldn't just be a list of fucking MOBAs, Battle Royales, and Fighters. Like, dude, you can definitely have a week of fucking speedrunners. Speedrunners, I know the community is a pretty fucking decently large community. And all that they do is just play the game as fast as they fucking possibly can. You can definitely do that for uh, Nintendo 64. There's thousands of people that watch Mizkiff 
play it or anybody from OTK kind of really play it because they're the main ones that really do speed runs like that. But you can definitely have that. That's a huge community because not only is that Mizkiff, but you also have like Ludwig and then you have people that are watching like uh, Emeru and stuff like that. Like that whole area has so, has thousands of people that just like to watch them do speed runs for some reason. It would just be like a whole, they'll have like a whole fucking, it'll be like a whole week of whatever that they don't have planned. They're doing basically speed runs of the fucking Mario uh, 64. <sighs> Why is that so raspberry? I'm getting a hot, it's supposed to be a high tea, but I'm getting hella wild raspberry. Oh, that's crazy. But yeah, no, nah, that, that shit's fucking I don't know. I personally think that they could have did better with it. I also think that them only having these certain amount of games for uh the esports world cup is already looking to fail. Um esports in general is already failing. And this is like their attempt or probably last attempt to make esports more of a thing kind of hope it's the last attempt um they keep pushing out esports games for only certain groups of players honestly if they would bring in more different type of styles of games then they'll probably get more revenue of people because people will probably start watching just to see what basically new game to try out or what new type of games there is to try out. Cause a lot of people haven't even like played a platformer, which I think is crazy. Or another week, it could just be strictly like sports games. Like you can have racing or you can have, uh, 2k but of course i've never really seen an asian person play fucking 2k like that like actually go hard and play 2k not just play it for fun like they're playing that they're playing that shit serious bro i haven't seen 2k um they do have uh the fc fc 2024 I think is on there as well for one sports game. I think that's the only sports game that there is. Unless you want to count Rocket League. Um, fucking armpit itch, bro. What the fuck? Got that Dove deodorant. You still have Old Spice, but that shit started making me rash. But yeah. No, dude, that shit's, that shit's crazy, though. I, I, I'm going to need them to go ahead and retry uh next time but that that's wild tft is in there though that's pretty cool for uh strategy games uh for like auto chess tft is in there but i feel like tft is really only in there because of uh league of legends i think without league of legends i don't think tft would be in there now i do think that tft should be a separate game though from league of legends like completely a completely whole separate download because I'm getting tired of having to update League just to play CFT. I don't care. Fucking little cookie clicker game. But yeah, no. That was it for just the esports uh little like segment, I guess you could say or whatever. I just hope that they end up fixing it, making it better. Hopefully companies will start looking into going outside the box and trying to bring people in instead of looking for a market that has high value of people already in it and then just trying to profit off of that. Yeah, I think I'm about to start just having like little smoke breaks during uh, the podcast instead of me like just stopping randomly. I'm just going to have a little like smoke breaks and they're probably going to be after the topic is over. Yeah, guess how long it took me to not do that, which. I was going to start off this video with wearing some shades and like doing like a little skit, but bro, 
I don't personally own shades. I don't wear shades on my on my face because I'm a, I'm a fucking four eyed nigga. So I usually walk around like this. All right, so everything looks kind of like you know cool and shit like that, like normal. I was like, I'm gonna put on some shades, bro. Look at look at how I look, bro. I was like, this ain't that bad, bro. Why is my head canted like this? So it's so it's going down like this. no, it's going down like this, right? How the fuck did I just fix this shit, bro? It was literally fucked up and now it's straight. Just know when I put this bitch on 100%, it was like going, it was going down like, like this. And it was matching with my hairline going down. Fuck, I'm dyslexic, bro. Downward, the dog. God damn it. So it wasn't looking right. And then I was like, okay, cool. I won't wear those. Let me try these other ones on. My God, bro. There's no. These are Versace. Versace, Versace. Medusa head. I mean, like, I'm a out of here. Y'all haven't heard that song in a minute, have y'all? Now look at me, bro. Now I look like I'm about to kidnap you. I look like a nigga that got lost in the Matrix. Not going into the Matrix. Like, nigga, I am lost while in the Matrix. Like, I know it's the Matrix, but nigga, I'm lost. <laughs> like, this, this don't even look right. Like, I can't wear shades. Look at me. Look at this. Dude, throw a fucking piano in front of me right now, bro, and I can start acting like Stevie Wonder until the age of 69 and start saying, oh, I can see, I can see now. Like, bro, what? Whew, gotta crack my neck. But yeah, nah. Shades are not for me. I feel like me wearing shades is trying to bring out a light skin. Like, if you was to take a picture of me, I want to fucking perk my lips up, make a little duck face and be like, like that, like that's crazy. I'm gonna go ahead and put that down. I'm gonna put that down. I know what I said, and then, and then I know I said earlier too. Me yelling out "smoke break" just to smoke is crazy. So we're going. We're cutting that shit out. We're stopping that immediately now. <coughs> <coughs> oh. Stopping that right now. <laughs> right, I just kind of defeat. It wouldn't defeat the purpose of it, of the podcast, but you know. Whatever. Um. Next up we got is. What does it say? How much for gay activities? Yeah. That's what I named the topic. That's not a legit question. Um. Now the legit question is, is basically how much, what, I guess this is for, this is for dudes, but how much would you end up having to get paid to suck another man's penis. Now, I know for the ones that are like, what, what the fuck? <laughs> what, what are, um, anybody that is confused, just know this is more of a, of a, um, I would say probably more of a, I wouldn't even say a guy question. I would say more of a degenerate question. This is some degenerate ass shit. And I would gladly answer this. Um, thing for me though, I'm gonna have to go ahead and say probably in between, you know, I'd say probably in between a good, probably like 250 K to, um, to like a mill range, honestly. 
because I put it to like you know, for for people that try to say like, oh, I not enough money in the whole world could ever get me to do some do some gay shit like that, <laughs> bro. I don't know what to tell you, but <laughs> nigga, them bills need paid. Ain't enough straight enough for me in the world to just be like new. No. I also think that's pretty sus. To be honest with you. And I think I was having a conversation. Um, I was having a conversation with my girl and we was talking about it. And it was like, honestly, it makes you look a little bit more sus if you say that, you know, that you would never do it. Cause I mean, at that point it's like, are you scared? Huh? You scared that you might like it? Hmm? Like be honest with yourself. Are you scared? Cause, um, pop up with a million and it like, it somebody be like, yeah, for a million dollars, suck it. And then me, I'm going to be like, bro, that's a mill. I'm going to give it some real true thought, too. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give that man about, like, cool three business days for my mind to be able to be like, should I do it? Bills need to get paid. I'm going to have to tell my girl. My girl is probably going to be like, what are you waiting for? Throw some ass at the same time. Hope you put in like an extra couple mil. I feel like that's how my girl would be like. So it's just being more along the lines of like, nigga, I need that money, bro. Like. I'm just going to need that money. But then on top of that, you got other people that would be like, man, you know, I do it for like a cool 5K. Pause right there. What do you mean just 5K? That's it? Hey, nigga, you can't even put a down payment on a car. What you going to do with 5K? I'm going to pay my rent next month. Nah, bro. You're gay. I'm gonna put it like that. If you're all, if you're, if you're being like, bro, just give me a couple dollars or something like that. You're either homeless or gay. Now, one of them is a problem and one is not. I'm gonna let y'all figure that out. I'm gonna go ahead and say the homeless man, he's doing it because he has a problem. Um, the other dude definitely got to be doing that for pleasure, bro. Couple of dollars and you're like, I'm good to go. Like, nah. Nah. You're pretty sus. I think like a like a minimum for that to not get questioned for sus activities. It's probably around roughly a good like 100K, I would say. Like a good 100K and then you, like, you know. At that point, you're not going to get questioned. You're not going to question for it. Now, I will say this does not apply to Diddy and the Diddlers. All right. They're different. They got money. And they're just they're they're just doing it because they like. It, all right. We're talking about regular, normal people. OK, regular, regular, regular us, not celebrities that got too much money to turn gay. So just putting it out there like that. That's crazy. I think like for people, I know some of y'all are probably first hearing this, you know, like hey, that, that's, that shit gay. Don't worry. I'm gonna have a timestamp for this for all y'all. Uh, homophobes out there that don't want to hear this part. No worries. I'm not going to have that. <laughs> You're going to listen. 
or you're going to leave. It'd be like that. But yeah, no. That's that's my point summary of it. Basically, dog, there's a there's a ground to where you it just looks like you're just doing this for money because you need to pay bills and stuff like that or you want like a new car or like a new house and stuff like that compared to you're basically trying to ask for the world that looks pretty sus and you're asking for a couple of dollars you're obviously sus like that's that's just it that is what it is got to be like that on to the next topic um birthday month oh uh, yeah it is may huh my birthday was may 5th motherfuckers Cinco de Mayo, motherfuckers. I don't know how to say that in Spanish, but wait, one day I will. But just know, yeah, it was my birthday month. Um, I didn't really do much of anything. Of course, I already told y'all before that I was like, you know, birthdays are kind of just whatever. Um, this one again was whatever. Actually. I didn't like this one. Everything was going good and cool. We got to, we got all the way to like the dinner, had food and everything, you know, pretty busting. We went to a place called, um, craft, craft by the smokehouse or something like that is if, if you live near in like the LA County, it's in Arcadia. It's, a, it's at the Ar Arcadia mall next to the cheesecake. Pretty pretty decent uh Texas barbecue place. I will say I will say this time that um the brisket was kinda dry. Dog you have no customers, barely any customers. Um why is your brisket dry? Why are you overcooking your brisket? You already cook it for hours. Why are you overcooking? You're slow overcooking brisket. Which is crazy. Blows my mind. But yeah, it was a little bit, it was a little bit dry and stuff like that. We ate and everything had a little platter. Then we ended up, uh, we were going over to, what's that makeup place called? Safari. We went over to Safari in the, in the mall so they can get like some stuff or whatever. But before we ended up fully like going over there, my girl's mom gave me some money for my birthday. And I was like, cool. Now me not wanting to be rude or anything. I wasn't going to count it. I wasn't going to take out my whole wallet to throw it in there and be like, okay, blah, blah, blah. Like, I didn't want to do all that. So I just wanted to hurry up. I was like, oh, thank you. I got the money and I put it in my pocket. I didn't even check how much it was or anything. Just know later on that I got back to the apartment and next thing you know, I'm checking my pockets. I was like, bro, there is no way that this happened. Kind of find out my money fell out of my pocket and it must have been while I was walking or something like that. And I was like, fuck. So apparently it was like 50 or a hundred dollars that somebody else basically got because um, people here who are fucking dickheads and fucking snakes, slimy ass motherfuckers. So yeah, I was like, fuck, fuck that. So yeah, but honestly, so far for this month though, has been pretty cool, pretty cool. Made some final decisions for some things. Uh, not really going to go into detail with that, but yeah, so far pretty cool. Just know that I don't like my birthdays. There's always something that happens on my birthday or near my birthday. And I'm like, dude, fuck this every, every year pretty whack. So I just think of my birthday as a regular day and keep it going. I think after. <clears throat> After you hit uh, 20, I would say possibly, honestly, 23. Once, once that 23rd birthday hit, that's when it just starts feeling for sure like another day. 
like unless like you're one of those people that are trying to like do like a list of goals or whatever to hit before 30 21 was your last kind of big birthday until you hit 50 and then when you hit 50 that's like you know that's just gonna be a birthday but you're gonna be settling settling down you're not gonna be doing anything crazy or nothing like that like you might have like a little family get together or something and if you got like kids the kids will probably throw you something because the kids will probably be old enough age to be able to throw you like a party unless like you know your kid is 10 years old because you decided to have a you decided to have a kid at 40 so now you're 50 years old and you can barely even do anything with your kid but yeah man it's fucking fucking wild so now every day is basically a, a regular day for me is except for like you know other holidays but like birthdays are just regular days that's it there's nothing fully special about it you're older another year way to go you made it now let's see if you make it to the next one kind of fucking depressing <laughs> but yeah no that shit was crazy and then of but I will say though, I actually got um I did get more like actual gifts this year. I usually don't get gifts. But I got um my girl got me a pair of shoes, which are actually down here. I'm gonna start wearing some fucking uh some dunks. I'm getting into wearing dunks and shit. They're kind of just made for wide feet motherfuckers like me. But these shits are clean, boy. Look at it. Clean. Of course, I keep my ghetto ways. I do not tie my shoes. I just make a knot on the ends and let them bitches dangle. I don't, I don't know for other people how they mainly do. But that's me. If I have a shoe with laces, I am lazy. I am not going to go down there to tie my shoe. Whenever it's untied. Fuck that. That is that is my solution. I do what you do on boots or Jordans. I do it to every shoe that has laces. You don't tie it. You just make knots at the end and call it a good day. Because <clears throat> that's really what it is. But. I got that in some sh money. Can't never go wrong with money. Or getting money, uh, or getting money for your birthday and stuff like that. Like you can't get, you can't go wrong with that. Some people look down on it and be like, "Oh, you didn't give me like a thoughtful gift or some shit like that." Like, motherfucker, you didn't tell me if you wanted something or not. Do you get out, get out of my face, bro? Tell me if you want something, or you gonna get money. That's really, that's really what it is. But yeah. Damn, we going through these little topics pretty motherfucking quick. Quicker than I expected. Hey, you that? I don't really care for the rest of these topics. Honestly. Um, what, what's been happening this month, though? I mean, except for, like, the whole, um, rap beef coming to an end. Then we got new, oh, we got new drama coming up. Not coming up or happening. I think it's died down now, finally. After everybody and their mom started calling all these people out for being racist. But the uh, Assassin's Creed game, am I personally going to get it? Honestly, no. I don't like what Ubisoft is doing as a company. So I, the last game that I will possibly be playing of Ubisoft will be this uh, Rainbow Six Siege. Or probably I would try, I'm going to try out X Defiant to see how it goes since it is a free game. But honestly, for paying another game for Ubisoft, I'm not going to do that. They're, 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 they're one of those gaming companies that's like, oh, uh, well, you see, you're giving us this money and, um, 
we're just not going to give you the rights to the game. You don't own this game. But thank you for giving me this money. We will actually allow you to play this game now since you gave us this money. But just know that you don't own this game. So that's really what the fuck it is. And I'm not a big fan of it. So fuck you, Ubisoft. But I I will say that I will stand beside of kind of Ubisoft uh, for making the new Assassin's Creed and making one of the main characters that you can play as as yasuke um he is the the first black samurai and a lot of people tried to come out and say that oh he's not a samurai he's a retainer and blah 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 literally white people and other japanese people that are more americanized white people basically they're they're americanized have basically fully came out of their shell of racism and try to basically cancel the game through their racism but quickly found out that um racism is only um it's only funny whenever it's a joke <laughs> really that's all it is uh, other than that outside of it is not really a good thing and what they were doing is basically being racist towards the whole game before the game even came out or trying to say like they're not going to buy it because the main character is black and that they try to say that it is not historically accurate while in other Assassin's Creed games you are fighting like demons and shit like that or you have fucking Shakespeare or Da Vinci or whoever the fuck dealing with alien tech um okay uh so yeah i mean you're or you're like you know you're riding on a flaming fucking horse so i don't know when the fuck uh assassin's creed has been historically accurate for shit these are literally just basically real people that uh that went through basically something else these are untold stories so as yes you can say fucking yasuke was mainly a retainer even though if you google search that bitch it says that he was a samurai and that he was a retainer for um fuck, how do you say his name not i don't want to say his name wrong but for the dude that starts with the n um but yeah that Fuck, dude, this is kind of pissing me off that I, I know his name, but I don't know how to say his name. But I feel like y'all know who I'm talking about. But yeah, you can you can have a whole thing thing about like Yasuke and how he went through like something else that nobody has actually heard of because these are untold stories that happen to people. OK. That's why there's a whole other character that isn't in history whatsoever a whole japanese woman in a in a game that's about ninjas and she's one of the main characters you can actually play with her for majority of the game there's only a certain there's only going to be like a few instances from what they said that you would have to play as certain characters but other than that everything else in the game you can play as legit just one of the people so I think it's crazy that they're they're still trying to push this narrative of saying that they're not going to buy the game because of Yasuke. They don't want to play as a black man in a Japanese setting, which. OK, we don't give a fuck. Uh, Ghost of Tsunami is still a game. Go play that. Uh, Ronin, I think, just recently came out anyways. Go play that. You already have two Japanese games, basically, with main characters who are. Japanese men uh Ubisoft wouldn't be able to go anywhere if they kept if they basically followed that same formula for two major games that came out already let's get that straight so of course yeah using Yasuke was the better choice for them you could say that all oh, like you know they're trying to just get more uh more money through like other uh other people basically are trying to say that they're trying to get more money from 
other ethnicities, which honestly, I don't think that's really true. I just think that they're just going more with a different story. This isn't like some woke shit that all these fucking racist motherfuckers are trying to be on. This is literally just a game of a figure who was actually real and a fake story that they came up with for him. Like, bro, what? <sighs> and when the video games even become historically accurate in the first place, especially Assassin's Creed. Ah, uh, yeah, dude. Like, people are just so fucking retarded. Like, I, I swear. You, they, people are so, people get so deep into trying to push their narrative that they just end up looking retarded. So that's on them though. But that's, that's mainly what's been happening for, I guess, more newer drama that's been happening for Twitter. I finally started joining Twitter communities. So my for you, I don't go on that shit that much anymore. I'm trying out mainly communities so I don't end up just deleting Twitter because Twitter started just pissing me off. The porn is becoming whack. Shit's being recycled through fucking channels, through all the fucking, not channels, through all the fucking pages. I'm getting tired of clicking on replies to shit and seeing your dumb ass porn video. Your shit is whack. Take it down. Fuck. Take all that shit down. Go get a job. It'd be funny seeing the fucking uh whenever people start replying with like memes of saying like, oh, it's a job application. Like, yeah, dude, that that shit is fucking crazy. Like Twitter Twitter is like filled up with fucking porn. So you have to you have to legit go to communities to where you're actually speaking with regular regular people that don't get a whole bunch of fucking uh, ads and shit put all over the fucking their replies or they start posting a whole bunch of bullshit through their fucking through their thread and then they're like at, and then there'll be like at the end like oh yeah that's all I have like bitch make these fucking separate tweets fuck you like what the fuck why are we making this thread so I don't know I, I can't I can't stand Twitter at this point man it is fucking bullshit straight bullshit Ooh. But yeah, no. Uh I need to actually I think what I'm gonna do probably sometime in June, since this will be the tenth episode of fucking of this podcast. I am gonna actually make a it's either gonna be a welcome channel video or um, like an intro or something, something basically for people whenever they visit the fucking, the YouTube, uh, the YouTube channel that they'll see more along the lines of like, oh, they'll see this video and then they'll see basically what the fuck the page is about. Like a little video about what the channel is going to be about. Because yes, I'm doing this podcast, but honestly, I want to do more than just this podcast for just like out of fluff in general. So what I'm going to do is taking back from my older videos. I was doing tier list videos when I was like trying to stream as well, too. I'm bringing that back because I have fun with tier list. Uh, I need to actually get my friend to um, kind of edit the rest of this, the rest of the tier list for the part two for the, um, the tier list of animated characters that can be able to steal your significant other. So I need to, I need to get him to finish that. So hopefully he'll end up finishing that at some point pretty soon. I ain't going to rush him because, uh, that man has a whole life to live and he has his own other videos too, which actually, <coughs> Ooh. If y'all are more into anybody that's watching this is more into like games and looking for other new games, especially like PC games, then I'm gonna have his channel basically linked down below. So you can just end up clicking that shit 
and you can end up watching it. He's been making uh videos for any like new free games that's been coming out or ten dollars and under games that's basically been coming out. So it's pretty cool. I play some of them. Um, I don't want to. I don't really want to be in his videos as he's like doing it. I'll probably just be like, you know, if I say something crazy while we're playing it and he records it, then he puts it on there. Then I mean, then I'm there. But me giving like an opinion or anything a while a part of his video, no, <laughs> no, probably not. But yeah, no, I'll ha I'll have a link down in the description for y'all so y'all can end up seeing it for those that uh that are listening to somewhere else comes to the YouTube channel and you'll find it. I'm I'm not going to put it all all over the fucking place. Like it is what it is. It's a, it's a YouTube channel. And if you're listening on Spotify or uh, anywhere else that this podcast is on and it's not YouTube, it's kind of no point for you then though. Like you're not going to go out of your way. I wouldn't go out of my way personally. And that's the homie. But yeah, other than that, dude, I'm about to hop off of here. I'm about to complete my fucking day of, uh, I'm gonna go through more of G development, G develop. If you have heard of G develop, cool. I'm actually learning that right now. So I'm gonna start making more of like little like 2d games and arcade games and stuff for mobile. Uh, if you haven't heard of G development, it's pretty cool it's a it's i want to say it's a no code there is some coding that you can do in it very minimal though very very minimal but yeah it's basically like plug and play and you're just it's, it's really good for game designers so since i am going since i am doing more of game design i'm going to try this out since I can mainly focus on more of level structures, I can mainly focus on balancing. I can mainly focus on um, other other things, and then I can just put in like assets and stuff like that. Probably end up changing uh, like colors and stuff like that for different things. But either way, just basically being able to create a game without having to do some like crazy, crazy outlandish stuff like coding. I think coding is wild. Like the fact that like, I, I like Unreal because of blueprints and the fact that you're able to just put in like, you can, you can make a game through blueprints. Like you don't have to do much coding. Granted for debugging and shit like that, you're probably gonna have to do coding, but that sounds like I could pay somebody for that. But either way, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, really mainly for mobile games, and I think this is probably what people have been using to make quick little mobile games because you can just get paid through ads. The more that you put out and the more that they kind of like, you know, you have like people playing it and shit like that, then it will come to a point to where like you're just stacking on ads. You're like stacking and stacking and stacking on ads to where you can start having money to put stuff into other bigger projects which i'm gonna make basically little games put it out there for free just for like ad content and stuff like that i may do one i am gonna do one uh kind of like bigger one but not too big i'm gonna say it's more like a mid-sized one that i can come back and update and add new content to so i can be able to basically kind of get paid more through that but making like little arcade games and stuff so that's what i'm gonna do boy and plus i'm learning on Un unreal engine right now and then whenever i get through for whenever i feel more comfortable with unreal then i'm gonna look into basically hiring a uh a game developer basically i need a fucking programmer i need a programmer and i need a uh i need an artist so i'm basically gonna hire basically I'll, at some point whenever i get enough money i'm gonna hire two people to basically work up under me until we can be able to make 
uh, enough money to make bigger games and then hire more people. So yeah, kind of have somewhat of a plan. Um, probably sound like I really don't right now, but that's all for the sure fact that this drink is starting to hit. Drink pretty good. Not gonna advertise it, but I will show it. So I guess it is in in a way advertising. Yeah, pretty good drink. I'd recommend it. If you see it, if you see it in the dispense, just know it's good. I fuck with it. I, it actually hits. It's nice. But other than that, we're just gonna call this one a motherfucking rap boy. Ooh. Yeah, because I'm looking at this now and I can't even think of like another fucking topic because then I'm just going to start talking more about like the different games and stuff that I've been like making or uh, be coming up with up in my head and uh, writing down. So I will say that at this moment, I do have. Four, four different games at the moment that I'm currently like going through like i kind of cycle them whenever i can't think of anything else for that one game then i'll go to the next one kind of think of other things and then i also have times where i just kind of don't think about shit and just play games so yeah thank you all again for coming staying uh if you stay to this point please let me know that you actually made it to we're gonna call it the uh, whatever the fuck mark bro if you made it basically to 57 minutes of this podcast, you're a goat. Um, you deserve to have whatever pickled tickled. So stay blessed out there for all y'all. Peace. And the bitch. Damn.